I graduated from the UWI in 1985. And my first job in the public sector and my only job for my entire life was to join as an intern at the Crown Regional Hospital. During those days, we had to do two years of internship. And at the completion of two years of internship, I joined as a resident in at Crown Regional Hospital and has been here up until now, 37 years ago. Dr. Frey, we've seen him on television, we've seen him in the clinic, uh, talking about different areas of um, healthcare. But what would you say are the top five major achievements that you have had so far? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. First and foremost, you see, I have when I came to this hospital in 1985, I was an intern, and I moved to the rank, to the highest level of a senior medical officer. And even after retirement, I was invited to return as a clinical coordinator. And by the way, there is no post called clinical coordinator in the public um, um, service. But I think that post was created in order to maintain the, 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 the experience that you have and you know people think so I've, I've gained a lot of experience as it relates to health I've learned that one of the important thing for advancement of medicine is to be involved in teaching and I'm an associate lecturer with the University of the West Indies in the Department of Surgery and I maintain that position because I think it's crucial to build young minds to get them up to that level. If you could change or implement policies, what would you do to make the Jamaica public health care system on par with world standards? Well, um, my whole dream, you know, my whole dream is to see a health service in Jamaica that is comparable to anywhere in the world. How can we achieve that? We can achieve that several ways, but the first and foremost, you need a physical plant that is a first world standard and equipped to deal with it. Two, you need trained doctors to the highest level, super specialization in order to execute the task. And three, you need the right nurse in Keda with specialist nurses to run the system because as I tell you, it, it can't be a one-sided affair. And you must have training in, embedded in your hospital. And this is what we have here. We train students from the university here. We train nurses. You must have that in the system in order to maintain the high quality of care that when they go to other places, they can say, you know, we were well trained in this spec. And this is what we want. Treatment, LINAP, which is first class in the West. And we have radiation oncologists, medical oncologists that is able to care for a patient. So in spite of all the downs that you are seeing, there are certain pluses that you know, are here and we want to build on that plus and move to a high level of care for our patients. What are the top five things that you have on your bucket list? In terms of healthcare? Terms of my top, <laughs> my bucket list is, I would like to see every individual in Jamaica, once they have an illness, the care that they would get in the private setting, that care must be available in the public setting. I would like to see a healthcare system where a patient comes in hospital, feel very comfortable with their treatment. Treatment is executed in a fast way. No delay in investigation, no delay in getting you to operating theater. That is the type of health service I would like to see.